Secondly, I offer my pranam thousands of times at the lotus feet of my Param Guru Dev to Srila Prabhupada and to all of our Sri Rupanuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. And finally, I offer my pranam to Pujapad Sri Bhaktivedanta Bhagavat Maharaj, Pujapad Sri Mokonda Guru and all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis Vanchakal So, what are we doing here? <laughs> Why? Why did we try to become devotees? Why? Only for one thing. Pray to attain pure love, divine love for Supreme Lord. And by extension, also love and affection for all living entities. Only for this, not for anything else. What is favorable for this, we should try to accept in our life. And anything, any mood, any attitude which is against this, we give it up completely. Atmendeya priti vancha tarebai kam. Krishnendriya Priti Icha Dhari Premna. The desire to please 
our own senses. This is called kind of lust. And the desire to please the senses of Sri Krishna. This is praying. Love. Kaam, anyone who has kaam, lust, they are useless. They are like beggars. If there's a millionaire and a billionaire and a trillionaire, but still he's a beggar. Why? Because he is the soul. And the whole time, he's asking his senses, please, give me some pleasure. Please, give me some pleasure. And he's sending his senses out to try to suck something, exploit, get some taste from the material world. So only the devotee who is, finds all happiness only in Krishna's happiness, he's actually a wealthy person. Only he's not a beggar because he's Atmaram, self-satisfied. For himself, he doesn't need anything. Only he wants to please Guru and Sri Krishna. In Gita, Krishna said, Kama Esha Koda Esha Rajaguna Smudbhava. This lust, it comes from Rajagun. And it is the Mahashno Mahapapma Vidyana Minavarina. You should know this is your enemy. We have no other enemy in this world. This person, this person, this person. No one is our enemy. All the enemy is our own calm material desires. As long as we have material desires, then we'll become entangled in worldly situations and attached. And the result of this entanglement is only misery, only suffering, only disappointment, and no satisfaction. At the end, you will see that you have nothing and your heart is dry. So, See, Guru is very kind and he gives us the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. If a person will chant every day with the greatest honor for the holy name, then Krishna Prabhu, Krishna, in the form of Nam Prabhu, our master, see Krishna, he will Chaito Darpana Marjanam cleanse away all the lust, all desires and all attachments. And the heart will become cool and clean and a suitable place for him to come and take his seat there. But, he said, unless you chant very deeply, very attentively in the Savitarka Samadhi, Go into at least, this is a, not the highest samadhi, but Savitar, sorry, Savikalpa Samadhi, the first stage of samadhi. Then the, all attachments and all the ignorance, it will gradually go away. But if a person is uh, chanting in a casual way, looking here and there, thinking about other things, after years and years, Bahu Janme Jati Kori Shravana Kirtan Tabutana Pai Krishna Pori Premadan. Many, many lifetimes, and still Krishna Prem will not come. So it's very important to every day sit in one place like a statue, eyes off, ears off, nose off, skin off, turn off all senses, and just to be completely absorbed in. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Very soon, Dehatma Buddhi, identification with the body, very soon, in a few days, it will go away. Still some avidya will remain. So, Shukadev Goswami in part has said, Vikri Ditam Brajabadu Bi Idancha Vishnu. Sradhan Bhattana Srinayad Atavarna Yadhya Bhaktim Param Bhagavati Pratilabdhi Kamam Hridrogam Asipahino Chachirena Dheeraha If a person with Sradhan Vita, with a firm faith, will hear again and again, and then what they have heard, they will repeat it, describe it also. Vipriditam Prajabadu Vidancha Vishnu Beautiful loving pastimes 
between Sri Krishna and the gopis of Vrindavan, then even though there is some avidya still there in the heart, but what will happen? Bhaktim param bhagati pratilapya kāvam. Bhaktim param, very highest quality of bhakti. In the mood of Braj gopis, it will come first, and then it will drive out whatever remaining darkness is there. Very, very easily. Don't have any doubt in it. It will be so powerful. So, Vidrogam, the disease of the heart. Kam, avidya, avritam jnana maitena, jnani no nityavarina. Krishna said, Kam is the avidya, covering our knowledge of ourselves. Well then, Vidrogam ashapahino chachirena dhira. Achirena, not in a long time, in a short time, by hearing the sweet pastimes of Sri Krishna and gopis, that will go away. For the dhira, dhira means the person who is sober, the person who does not commit the nama parad of Shruti, Shruti Shastra Nindana, criticizing the scripture. Because the scripture has said, someone may say, Brahma Bhuta Prasanatmana Sochati Nakanshati. First become Mukta, liberated, Brahma Bhutta, and after that you'll get Bhakti. But Shukadeva Goswami is saying, no, no, no. Listen to the glories of Braja Gopis. You'll get Bhakti first, and then you. All the lust, all ignorance will go away. And so I don't believe it. How is it possible? How is it possible that a love like Braja Gopis can come while the heart is not pure yet? And then afterwards that, that will come and clean the heart. How is it possible? So that person is a Nama Aparadi. Because they don't believe Shasta, Shruti, Shasta, Nindanam. To, to uh, criticize the Vedic scriptures, this is one offense to the Holy Name. So they cannot be delivered. So put very strong faith in Harinam and in the words of Shukadeva Goswami. And this is why we are hearing. Vikriti Dham Braja Badu Vishnu. The glories of the wonderful, highest brain between Krishna and Braja Gopis as expressed in the five Geets of Srimad Bhagavatam. We have discussed something about Venu Geets. Very sweet, how Radha and Krishna and Braja Gopis, they are quite young, and even though they are trying to be very firm in their dharma and all their activities, but this love is too strong. The attraction is too strong. They cannot fight it. And some or other, the very high level of desire to meet with Krishna is there, but they had no chance to meet with him. So this Venu Geet is in Purvarag. Then yesterday, we heard also afterwards about Prana Geet. How Sri Krishna finally, in the middle of the night, went to the forest and called upon his flute and Braj Gopis transgressing all dharma, forgetting everything, they ran to meet with Sri Krishna. But Sri Krishna, he told them, huh, what are you doing here? Is there a problem in your house? This is a very dangerous place in the forest. You should go home and serve your husband. Then you can go to heaven in your next life. Hmm? Sri Krishna spoke like this. And gopis were heartbroken. But because they had pranay, A very a great Vishramba. Pranay means Vishramba. Confidence that Krishna actually loves us. He doesn't really mean this. He can't really be sending us home. But he's, he won't say what he wants because he's shy. So we'll help him. <laughs> so Gopis, they cut all the arguments of Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna had said to Braj Gopis, you should go and serve your husbands. But Gopi said, Yajambu Yaksha Tavapada Ramam Talam Ramaya Dattakshanam Kvachidaranya Jana Priyasya Aspraksham Tadbribiti Nanya Samaksham Anya Statum Stoya Birameta Patapara Yama Oh Krishna, you are Aranya Jana Priyasya. You are very dear to the residents of the forest. Hmm? And your lotus feet are such that if that Lakshmi Devi, she desires to touch your lotus feet, 
because gopis have heard from Purnamasi and Gagacharya that when Krishna danced on the head of Kaliya and then the Nagapatnis they prayed to Krishna Kasyana Bhavushana Deva Vidmahe Tvangri Nums Parasaritakaraha Yadvanchya Sila Lanacha Tapo Vihaya Kamam Suchiram Dadara Prataha O Krishna we don't know what austerities this wicked snake has done in his previous life to get your foot dust upon his head when even Lakshmi Devi herself desires that foot dust and to attain this she has abandoned Vaikuntha and abandoned Lord Narayan and he's doing austerities for a long time. So gopis say, Oh Krishna, your lotus feet are a festival of joy for Lakshmi Devi. But really, you should not have any relationship to her because you are Aranya Jana Priyasya. You are dear to the residents of the forest, to the cows, to the birds, and us the gopis as well. So you should be merciful to us. As Nanya Samakshamanya. You told us to serve our husbands. But ever since the day we touched your lotus feet, then we felt such a bliss that Nanya Samastamaksha. We are completely unable to stand in the presence of another man. Because any other male person is completely disgusting <laughs> to us. Because of the joy that we felt when we touched your feet. Actually, here the gopis are making a reference to the pastime when Sri Krishna played his flute in the day and they all came running, but Radhika didn't come. And he told them to go home. At that time, they bowed down and they touched his feet and took us and then they went home. But this, and now they're saying in the Rasalila, You told us to serve a husband, but what we can, can we do? We cannot even stand in the presence of another man. Since we experience this ecstasy of the touch of your feet. So then Krishna told them, You cannot be my dasis. You cannot come here and serve me and be my maidservants. Because I did not pay you anything. So Brahma Gopi said, Vikshala kavrita mukam tavakunda lassi gandastalahadara sudam hasitava lokam Oh Krishna, you are saying that we cannot be your dasis because you have not given us any salary. But that is not true. You've given us a huge, huge salary for whole life. What is that? Vikshala kalika, vikshala kalika, vrita mukam. Tavakundala Sri. Viksha means at that time when we came to meet with you in the forest. Or at that time when we were bathing in Jamuna and you stole our clothes and you told us to come out and receive our clothes one by one. <laughs> at that time we came very close to you and Viksha, we saw Viksha Lakabrita Mukam, your face. Alaka Avrita, covered with Alaka. Alaka means curls of hair. But Alaka has another meaning. Do you know that uh, who is the treasurer of heaven? Kuvair. So he's the treasurer. He has the, the bank in heaven where everyone, the secure place where everyone keeps their treasures. <laughs> and what is the name of the capital city of Kuvair? Alakapuri. Mm -hmm. So, Krishna, you say you haven't paid us, but you paid us Alakapuri. Hmm? All the treasures of heaven hmm? in the form of your Alaka. Vikshalakavrita Mokam Tavakundala Sri. Your curling hair falling on your face. Tavakundala. Your very beautiful earrings, which are shining. Gandastala on your cheeks. Adara Sudham. And we saw the nectar of your lips because you are chewing tambul and the red juice of the tambul is coming on your lips. Your smile and your glances and your two strong arms which give all fearlessness. We are not afraid of anything. We have left our homes. We have transgressed all dharma. 
Our husbands may try to beat us. They may cooking cancer to punish us, but we are not afraid of anything. Why? That Buddha then the yoga because we know you have strong arms. You can fight anyone. You are Veer. You are our hero. And in between those two arms, Bakshasriyai Karamanam Chabbabhamadasya, you gave us the darshan of your broad chest, which is wherein there is the Sriyaikala. That is the Bakshasriyai Ramanam. Lakshmi Devi is there as a golden line. On the left side of Sri Krishna's chest, there's a golden line. That is the Lakshmi Reika, the line of Lakshmi Devi. So, seeing all of these things, you have paid us a very great amount of wealth and we have become your dasis. So when Sri Krishna heard all these arguments of Prajagopis against what well, he had told them, then he began to laugh and he revealed to them, oh yeah, I was just kidding. I was just joking. Hmm? For fun. I was teasing you for fun. Gopis are thinking, oh, and we fell for it. Why did we fall for it? So, this pastime is very, very sweet. Why? Because the Brajariti is there. Brajaniti. Niti means <coughs> ethics. Hmm? Everyone has their ethical standards. Hmm? But what is the Niti? The Niti of Braja. Kojanata Matura Brindavan Kojanata Brajanita If Rupa Goswami had not come into this world, then who would know about the Niti, the ethics, the way of praying of Braja? First of all, we have to know that in Braja, all our liars are always lying. All the time. This is their nature. Oh, Krishna, even Mother Yashoda. Oh, Lala, your jyoti is so lean and thin. Look at Baldev's chin and sticker. It's so long and thick. So, you should eat more butter. Then it will grow. <laughs> yeah, take more, take more. Uh, is my jyoti fat here? Because he can't see. He can't see. So, no, no, take some more. If Krishna is out playing as a little boy and the evening's coming and he's late coming home, then his mother will come. Hey, you have to come home now. You cannot play, you know? Because if you stay here, then the ow. <laughs> ow kill ow. <laughs> oh my yeah. What's the ow below? He has pointed ears and big teeth. And he has a bag and he puts little boys like you in his bag and takes them away from him. Oh my god, can I play with the Ao Bilao? <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm? He'll take you away forever. <coughs> then, my dear shoulder, she looked over Krishna's shoulder, ah! and ran him. And then Krishna was afraid to even look over and said, Oh, mother, wait for me. And she ran after my dear shoulder. <laughs> so, pretty much, is like, always lying, hmm? always tricking each other. Dhruva Maharaj said, Yasmin Viroda Gatiyo Kyanisham Patanti. That if this is the nature of the absolute truth, that it has a Viruda Dharma. Viruda Dharma means everything is opposite from what you should expect. Or the, the contradictory characteristics are living together. So see Krishna, see Krishna is the abode of Viruda Dharma. Shimati Radhika is the abode of Viruda Dharma. The frame of Braj is the abode of and Viruddha Dharma. Hmm? For example, when Madhya showed the bind Krish, bound Krishna with a rope around his waist, on the one hand, Krishna has the Bhutata, that means he's all pervading. But at the same time, he has Parichinata, he got limited by just one rope from her hair and, and he tied around. How is it possible? This is Viruddha Dharma. Krishna is unlimited and Madhya showed has tied him with one rope from her hair. The Buddha and Parishchinnata. So in Braja Prem, you should know that three things are prominent. The first thing is cheating, <laughs> lying. Hmm? And this is Braja Niti. First thing is 
thing is cheating. Though Brajlila is the absolute truth, but everyone is lying. <laughs> Second thing, though that supreme realm is the realm of mercy, everyone is mercil mercilessly teasing each other. <laughs> hmm? Teasing, teasing all, all the time. And even though that plane is the plane of harmony, hmm? there's constant competition. Everyone is competing. So this is Prajaniti, cheating, <laughs> teasing, and competing all the time. So this is the this is the way of praying. Pura Nasi Devi. Madhu Mangal asked, oh, to his grandmother, when when Krishna's love was coming and Radhika's love was coming. So what is the nature of this this love? Pura Nasi Devi said, Stotram yatra tatastatam prakatiyat. The meaning is Stotram Yatra Tatastatam Pakatayam Titasya Date Vyatam. If someone will glorify someone else. Ah, oh, you are so very nice. Then that person, hearing his own glorification, will feel disappointed. I don't, what, you don't love me? <laughs> because there's a tatasta bhav. If there's someone in the street that you don't know and you talk to them, you're very polite. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> but if there's someone you're very, very close to, lokik sat bandubad, natural family relationship, there's no need to stand on protocol. And even insults will be very happily received. So, Ninda api pramadam prayatsati pariha asasriyam vibrati. In Braja, they tease each other and insult each other. And if they receive some praise, then they become disappointed. <laughs> you don't love me? And if someone teases them and criticizes them, oh, very good. <laughs> very funny joke. <laughs> and they tease back also. This is the nature of Braja. Doshe nakshaitam. If radical will see a fault in Krishna, Usually, you know, in this world, if there's a couple, they're together, and uh, at first they're all starry-eyed. But then after some time, they start to see faults in each other, and then the love goes down. Huh? But Braj is not like that. Doshe and In Braja, seeing any faults in Krishna, but the love does not go down. In fact, the love is so intense that it turns the fault into a great quality and thinks, oh, wonderful. Krishna is such a liar. <laughs> he's such a cheater. <laughs> oh, his bad qualities are oh, 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 wonderful. Don't <laughs> In this world, if you discover someone had a quality that you didn't know, then your affection or your your love for them goes up, but not in Braja. If Gopis see some wonderful quality in Krishna, it does not make their love go up. Why? Because their love does not go up and down based on Krishna's faults or qualities. Premna swara sikasya kasyatidayam vikridati prakriya. The love has its own life and is increasing by itself. Regardless, Krishna can do anything. Aslishyava padaratam penashtumam adarshanam mama hatam karotuva yata tata va vidadatula. He's a devotee, lampat, he can do whatever he likes. Mat prana tastu sakeiva na but he is my prana. Anything. Thing that Krishna does, good or bad, I love it. Why? Because he did it. Yeah. Huh? No terms and conditions in praying. Hmm? I love you, but these are my terms and conditions. Please sign the contract. No terms and conditions at all. Or oh, whatever you do, I accept it. Because you did it. And this is praying. So, this is the nature of the brain. Ninda. Criticism. Teasing is there. Usually if someone will criticize us, we don't like it. It's not pleasing to us. Huh? Why? Because that situation, there's not love. In there. hmm? But the example is given of smoke. You know, if there's some smoke coming in your face, say, oh, no one likes it. It's not pleasing. But if that smoke is mixed with agur, you know agur? Yeah. Hmm? Ud. If it's mixed with ud, then it becomes... Oh, very high class of fragrant incense. And then if that smoke comes, then ah, everyone is pleased. So in the same way, no one is pleased by Ninda. But when Ninda, criticism, is mixed together with love, 
then it's pleasing to everyone. So this is Braja Niti. Hmm? Three things. Lying, teasing, and competing. Competing is very interesting in Braja. There's one saying in Braja Bas. It means that Prem Pat, on the path of Prem, Sabi Bhat. The word Bhat means weights. You know, if you go to the marketplace, the grocery is there, and he's selling his products, and he has so many weights that he has to put on the scale for selling his, his products. So, Prem Pat Ke Sabi Bhat Sabaseya Ke Hota Hai. On the path of Prem, all the weights are one quarter heavier than all the other weights. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh. <laughs> oh, very good. In, the sayings in Braj Bhasa are so sweet because the very profound nature of Prem Tattva is expressed, but in language that anyone in the marketplace can understand. Uh, first of all, if you go to a shop, and the shopkeeper has weights, and the, and the weight that's written on the weight is actually different from the actual weight. <laughs> then he's cheating you, right? Yeah. Hmm? And then the next thing is that when the shopkeeper has weights, they're like matroshkas, right? There's a big one, and then a smaller one, and a smaller one, and a smaller one. Like quarter kilo, half a kilo, three quarters kilo, one kilo, one quarter kilo, one half kilo. All the weights are like that. So they're all the different weights, they can be, each one can be a quarter heavier than the previous one. Hmm? But prema pat ki sabi bat ki hota hai. In the path of love, all of the weights are a quarter heavier than all of the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is the impossibility of praying. That means that everyone is competing, competing all the time. So, for example, when Braj Gopis came to the Rasalila, because of the intense praying, the praying is so intense. Though Krishna wants to meet with gopis, he wants to dance with them, but he's just... Oh, I think you should go home and meet your husband. <laughs> he starts teasing, wants to get a reaction, because he's doing Vilas, the pastimes of speech, just joking. And then he's like, oh man, just joking. And gopis are, oh, we fell for it, now we fell for it. <laughs> but uh, we'll get back at him, right? Because in praying, all the weights are one quarter heavier than all of the others. So gopis, what I just tell the men, just so you know, for sure, women never forget anything. <laughs> yeah? But they're just waiting for a chance to remind you. So, the gopi, Krishna's trick gopis, play the trick, he teased them so much. They're, uh, they're looking at each other, just wait. <laughs> and they're waiting for their chance to tease Krishna back. So this is the nature of Braj brain. You see, when Krishna had Abhishek, all the Brajbasis did the Abhishek of Krishna, and that he was incarnated as Yuvaraj, the prince of Braja, then Braj Gopi said, whoa, what is this? Hmm? Our Radharani should also have a Abhishek. Hmm? And she could, should be uh, coronated, Brindavan and Shuri. <laughs> Competition is always coming like this. It's the nature of praying. If Krishna has killed a, a bull, Gopi says, no, no, you can't touch us, go away. Oh, what can I do? You have to bathe in all the holy places. So then Krishna made Shamakund. Gopis will look at each other and make Shamakund. Okay, we'll make Radhakund. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Prima Pat ki sabi bat ke hota hai. In Braja, every weight is heavier than all the other weights. That is always competing, always trying to outdo each other. If Krishna steals Gopis' clothes, Gopis steal Krishna's flute. <laughs> In Rasli, if Krishna was saying, Sari Gama Pa, Gopis Tani Sa. <laughs> if Krishna will sing in the fifth note, Gopis will sing in the seventh note. Hmm? If Krishna will be bragging, Oh, I am a very good wrestler. I can defeat Sri Dham and other coward boys. Gopis said, Oh, really? We think you cannot defeat our Saki. Hmm? Our Saki Radhika. We challenge you. So like this. What to speak of, Braj Gopis and, and Krishna? In Braj, everyone is like this. Even Radha Krishna's parrots in the trees are quarreling with each other. Right? <laughs> is it true? True, I'm sorry. So everyone is like this. What to speak of the parrots quarreling with each other? Uh, my Krishna is Madan Mohan. 
Oh, he's mad and mine when he's with Radhika. But if Radhika is not there, he's mad and Mohit. He becomes bewildered by Cupid. The male parrot says, Oh, my crystal looks very beautiful with the peacock feather leaning down towards the left side. He looks very charming and fashionable. Hmm? And the female parrot says, Yes, this peacock feather is trying to touch Radhika's feet. <laughs> so this competition is always going on. They cannot help it. This teasing, this is the way of brain. Even brain itself is in competition and won't stop. Yadhyapi nimal radha prema satarpan tata pi swachata tara barikshan ikshan. Krishna Skaraj Goswami Pad said that even though Radhika's prema is completely pure, nirmala sat prema darpan, it's a pure mirror of prema. But in front of that, that mirror is increasing in swachata, in clarity at every moment. So man madurya radha prema duhi hora kari barik barik shani duhi ke ho nahi hari. Krishna said, my sweetness and Radhika's prema are in a competition, fighting with each other, and not one one is increasing, the other is increasing, the other is increasing, and neither will ever give up. So this is the nature of Braja. and especially in the nikunjas of Braja. Surata Samara, Peri Bankriti Putanare. It is said that when Krishna plays his flute, this is like the beating of kettle drums. Why? Because before before there's a big battle, then, like in the beginning of the battle of Kurukshetra, perhaps tum, 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 tum. <laughs> both sides they're beating their kettle drums. So the playing of Krishna's flute. When he calls gopis for Rasulina, that is the beating of kettle drums before the mm, Surata Samara, the battle of love, when Radha and Krishna meet within the Kunus. This is the great competition also. Anandadi domain manmata kala This is called the manmata, manmata kala yuta, the war of the arts of Cupid. Manmata kala yuta. Brad's brain is of this nature. So when Brad's gopis, they spoke Pranay Gita and they cut, they defeated all the words of Sri Krishna. Then Krishna was laughing and he accepted them and the rest Leela began. Yesterday we began to discuss something about this gopi deed. As you know, first, Sri Krishna disappeared from the Rasa Leela with Radhika. And then after some time, he also disappeared from Radhika, and Shimati Radhika fainted. And all the gopis came and they saw the intensity of her separation. And seeing this, they felt great sympathy for her. Oh, we were suffering. But seeing her suffering, her suffering is so great. Her love is like a great conflagration. And our separation is just like a yeah. small firefly. See, see, Radha Govinda Juki. So at that time, though in Venuki, all gopis are in separate groups. In Pranagit, all gopis are in separate groups, but together competing on four sides for Krishna's attention. But now, in Gopi Geet, just as there are so many lakes and ponds separate, but when a flood comes, they all become one. So now, because of the flood of praying in separation, all gopis have come together in one group, and they came on the bank of Jibuna and began to weep together. Because you can 
get a little bit lost in the details. I want to give some shape and context how the Geats are different from each other. And then within that context, then you can go into the Anushilana, cultivate. We don't do studying, you know, Gurudev said, don't study Shastra. Mm -hmm. Do Krishna Anushilana. Mm -hmm. The cultivation, uninterrupted, of body, mind and words for the happiness, for the benefit of Sri Krishna. Mm -hmm. So, Krishna, when gopis were singing, this gopi Geet, Krishna was there, he was in, hid in a hidden place and watching from his hidden place. And what did he see? What did Krishna see at that time? In the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, when Bhishmade is on his bed of arrows and about to leave this world and Krishna came to see him. Then, though Bhishma Dev is in another mood, he still wants to please Krishna and he knows that nothing can please Krishna more than the glories of Braj Gopis. So at that time, Bhishma Dev said, Lalita Gatibala Safal Guhasa Pranayani Rikshna Kalpitur Umana Kritamanu Kitapatya Unmadanda Prakriti Magan Kila Yasya Gopavatva During the Rasalila, see Krishna is worshipping the Brajagopis. Not with Sodash Upachar, hmm? with incense and deeps and handkerchief and chamar, not like this. He's worshipping the Brajagopis by his smile, by his glance, by the way he walks, by his dancing. He did not dance with anyone like this ever before. So all of the activities of Sri Krishna in the Rasa Lila, this is the paraphernalia by which he is worshipping the gopis. They are so glorious. And when he disappeared from the Rasa Lila, Krittamanu Krittabhatya Unmadandha Braj gopis became mad in separation. And they began, they were so absorbed in Krishna that they began to say, Krishna Oham, I am Krishna, just see how I walk. And they began to imitate his pastimes. How they became mad, how they were weeping and crying. Hmm? Krishna had never seen anything like it in his life. So, Vishwadev is saying, Prakritim Agan Kila Yasha Gopavadvaha. That seeing these Braja Gopis, Krishna's Prakriti, his nature changed. How is that possible? The meaning is this Krishna is Siddha, he's perfect. But after he saw the brain of Braj Gopis from his hidden place, Krishna became Susiddha. More beautifully perfect. So what see Krishna witnessed when Gopis were singing? Gopi Gita, when they were in separation from him, when he disappeared. It was so amazing that even Krishna's life was changed forever. You know, in your life, sometimes you can have an experience that you never recover from. So that's what happened to Krishna. He could never recover from this experience of seeing Braj Gopis in separation. Why? What did he see? Here in this Git, this is the yoga. It's separation. So, Venu Git was always also in separation. But that was a Purva Rag. This is not. This type of separation is called the Kinchit Dur Pravas. That Krishna has gone Pravas. Not far away, Dur, but Kinchit Dur, a little. He's, he's gone away at some distance. Didn't go all the way to Madura or Dwarka or anything. But Kinchit Dur Pravas. He's gone away at some distance. And there's something more. Why this separation of the, the in the yoga, the Pralambarasa in the yoga, of Gopi Geet and the Vipalama Rasa in the yoga of Venu Geet. Why is it different? Uh, it's very profound. Shukadev Goswami said that after Krishna heard the Pranay Geet and began to laugh and then he began the Rasa with the Gopis. Shukadev Goswami said, Bahu Prasara Pariramba Karala Kauru Nivistanala Bana Naramana Kagra Patai Shri Lava Loka Hasita Brajasundaridi Uttambayan Ratipatin Ramayam Chakara. This verse of Rasa Panchajai is very, very important. 
This verse is describing Rasa Nishpati. Rasa Nishpati. How does Rasa manifest? First of all, we should know that Rasa is Aprakrita supernatural. Rasa is not a vritti of the mind. It's not a mental thing. Huh? It's not an emotion. You say, ah, yes, I'm feeling very emotional about Krishna. Huh? But we can, because you know, if you hear any story, any love story, Romeo and Juliet, you can get emotional. Huh? So Radha Krishna's story is also a bit more sweet and beautiful. So you can feel. But it can be practical emotion, material emotion. But rasa is not a material emotion of the mind. Rupa Goswami Pai said, Adir Bhuya Mano Bhritto Prajanti Tat Sarupatam Swam Pakasha Rupapi Basamana Pakasyavat That we have Chitta Bhritti, that is movements of pran in our Chitta. All of our thoughts are movements of the pran, like threads which are interwoven throughout our Chitta. So the prans are like threads which are interwoven throughout our chitta, and the prans are moving, and that's all of, all of our thoughts and feelings. But when a devotee is engaged in sadhana bhakti, the result of this sadhana bhakti is bhava bhakti. And this Bhava Bhakti means Avir Bhuya Mano Brito, that Sambit and Vladini, the consciousness potency and the pleasure potency, they descend like an avatar. Avir Bhu, Avir Bhav, Avir Bhuya Mano Brito, and they appear in your Chitta Brity. Brajanti Tat Surupatam and become one with your Chitta Brity. They hijack your thoughts and feelings, become one with it. And now they begin to somewhat manifest in Krishna and Ladini manifest the desire to serve him. Like this. And so the realization of Sri Krishna is not a mental thing. You cannot create it with your mind. It has to be an avatar of the Swarup Shakti. And the, when the Swarup Shakti comes intensely, it comes as the Rati, Stai Bhav. So Stai Bhav is the, is the basis. So here in this Rasalila, the frame of Radhika is the Stai Bhav. And then this Stai Bhav, it becomes excited, it becomes provoked by Vibhav. You know? So there's Vishaya Lamban and Ashraya Lamban. The support of love and the object of love. Vishaya Lamban, Ashraya Lamban. So when Radha and Krishna meet, then the activity of Krishna is Uddipana. The activity of the Vishai is Uddipana. And the activity of the Ashrai being excited by the Uddipana is the Anubhav. So these are the ingredients. Taibhav, Vibhav, Anubhav, Sattvika Bhavs come, and then the transitory assisting emotions. And in this way there is Rasa Nishpati. So in this verse, Shukadeva Goswami Pari saying, Bahu Prasara Paranamba Karala Kauru. Bahu prasara means spreading the arms. Pariramba means embracing. It really means that Radhika was <laughs> like this. So spreading the arms means the arms that were folded on her chest, Krishna took them and opened them. Bahu prasara, pariramba, and then he embraced her. Pariramba, karala koru. Kara means hands. By his hand, he touched her hand. Karalaka, alaka. Radhika's beautiful curls were falling on her face, and by his hand he moved her curls that were falling on her face. Karala Kauru. Uru means the thighs. Then moving his, the hair on her face, then he touched her thighs. Nivi. Nivi means the belt around her waist. Nivi. Narama Nakagra Patai. And he was mm, touching with the tips of his nails, scratching. So in this way, this is the Udipana of Krishna. And Srimad Bhagavatam is a Bhyanjan Briti, written in Bhyanjan Briti. That means something is being told in the suggestion. So it should be understood that if the Udipana is there, then the Anubhav is there, of Radhika. So if Krishna will wipe away the curls of Radhika, Radhika will wipe away the curls of Krishna. 
If Krishna is saying Krishna is embracing Radhika, Radhika is embracing Krishna. If Krishna is touching the thigh of Radhika, Radhika is touching the thigh of Krishna. If Krishna is marking Radhika with his nails, Radhika is marking Krishna with her nails. Shwelava loka sita prajasundarinam. Shwelya means joking. And as they, by the Uddipana, as they are embracing each other and playing together, they begin to laugh and joke and speak with each other. Shwelava loka, glancing at each other. And in this way, Uttam Bayam Ratipatim. Ramayam Chakara. Uttambayam means rising up. What grows up? Ratipatim. Ratipatim means Cupid. Cupid. Cupid is living in the heart. That Cupid who was in the heart by their meeting together is now manifesting, coming out. So the Udipana is increasing the love. That means Radhika's hunger to serve Krishna is increasing. And Krishna is, Krishna's sweetness is increasing. So if you have a, if someone is hungry, but there's no, nothing to eat, no meal, then there's no happiness. If there's a meal, but there's no hunger, then there's also no happiness. Hmm? But if there's hunger and also a meal, then there's great joy. So Radhika's hunger is increasing, and the meal is also there. Krishna, his sweetness is increasing. So they're tasting. They're tasting each other. And this... Hunger is increasing more and more. Uttambaya means increasing. The hunger is increasing more and more. And the sweetness is increasing more and more. And they're competing and there's no end to this. There's no, in this world there's a satiation. In the worldly experience. But in this meeting of Radha and Krishna. Then, Vibhu api kalayat sada vibriddhim gur api gorva charya bina mu upichtava krima api shudho jayati muradvishi radhika anuragaha Rupa Goswami said, oh, oh, glories to the Anurag of Radhika. Viburapikalayan sadabibridim. Even though the love of Radhika is all pervading, it's still increasing. How is it possible? Viruddha Dharma. Even though her love is the most important and powerful thing, she's very humble. She has no pride. And even though her love is pure, she's completely crooked. Her activity is very crooked. So all glories to Radhika's love. So in Brajbasi it says, Premju Kahayata Manpurati Kam Kahata Ratiran Anga Anga Vyapata Rahe Tako Kahata Anang. When Prem is in the heart, it's a feeling in the heart. Then this is called Prem, this is called love. But when it begins to manifest in the activities of loving pastimes, now it's called calm. And when that Prem Anga amanga bya patarahi. When it permeates every pore of the skin, every part of the body, every pore of the skin, every hair of the body, brain is saturating everywhere, then it's called ananga. So this is the brain that we can realize by mercy of Gurudev. When you remember, Kam Gayatri. Kam Gayatri is to realize how Krishna is ananga. Uthambayan Ratipatim Brabayam Chakaraha. It's very mysterious. Rupa Goswami in Sanskrit says, Varamrita Sarupa Sri Swasarupa Mano Nayat. We have discussed our praying is a Chitta Britti of Sambhita Ladini. So the pran is moving. But when praying becomes very intense in the, in the pran, then it travels around the body and touches the different elements. Right? So when it touches water, then you begin to cry. When it touches fire, then you begin to perspire. Right? When it touches the mm, air, then your hair stands on end. Like this. So in this way, the astasattvic bars, they come because the movement of the brain in the pran, in the mind, spills over into the rest of the body and it causes sattvic bhav. So in the same way, Rupa Goswami is saying, Varamrita Srupa Sri, there's a type of love which is called Kama Rupa Prem. Not Prem, not Sneha, Man, Pranaya, Rag, Anurag. Even the queens of Dwarka, they have up to Anurag. But Braj Gopis have Ruddha Bhav. Ruddha Bhav. Eta Param Tanu Bhito Bhuvi Gopavaddo Govinda Eva Nikalatmani Ruddha Bhava. Would have said, oh Gopis, only you. 
Only you have this root above. So your life is successful. What is the nature of this root above? Anuraga Susambedya Dasha Prapa Prakashita. One of the symptoms is Prakashita. Five, six, seven, or eight sattvic bars come all at once. And it's the outer symptom that not that the brain is like one briti in the mind, but the brain has become all pervading in the mind, mano nayet, and the mind has become absolutely completely one with Ruddha Bhav. And then when that happens, it overflows into the pran, and the pran travels all over the body. You know, you have 72,000 nadis hmm? all over the body. And that makes prakashita. It's five, six, seven, eight. Udipta, sudipta. Sattvic bars. And then from the sattvic bars, it doesn't stop there. It overflows even further. And that's the third symptom of Rudha Bhav. Yabadashva. Understand? I don't know if everyone will catch. So I'm just looking at Mukunda. <laughs> it's a very profound thing. You can meditate and pray. So Rudha Bhav is something special. Where an ananda chinmaya rasa pratibhavitabi. The mind has become completely one with the nature of Mahabhav. It overflowed into the pran. This is why Gopis are is called Mahabhav Swarup. You see? Actually the body is of the spiritual world. What are they made of? Sandini Shakti. Everything is made of Sandini. And in that the vritti of, of Sambit and Ladini is there. But Braj Gopis filling their mind, Manonayat, Sarupatam. Their mind became one with Mahabhav, it overflowed, and now their whole bodies have become one with Mahabhav, so they called Ma Maradika's called Mahabhav Swarup. And the gopis are her expansions. Krishna is not Kami. Krishna is not Kami. He's not lusty. Krishna is brainy. He only wants to taste brain. He only wants to take love, taste the love in the heart of bridge basis. But the thing is this, that the bridge gopis, their entire bodies have become brain Swarup. And this is why Kanta Bhaga Nijanga Diya Korina Sevan. Krishna wants to taste them actually. Bai Bahu Prasara Parirama Kagara Kolo. Embracing, moving the hair, touching, and all of these things. So this is the Rasanispati. And how Uttambayan rising up Ratipatim. Cupid in the heart is manifesting. Ramayam Chakaraha. So. There's, this meeting in the Raslila is so intense that there's no end to the joy that comes. Because one of the symptoms of Rudabhav is sada that it makes you forget everything. Milita milita mila wo chahi mila mila na kibu mila ras kabara prema so pratitina bara tupu. In Brajbas it means, oh, Radha and Krishna meet. They're meeting. But even when they're meeting, they still want to meet. They wanted to meet, but even meeting, they still want to meet. Hmm? And then when they meet, they forget that they have met. And the next moment, they look, oh, who are you? Though Radha and Krishna have been meeting together and enjoying sweet pastimes in the Nikunja Vrindavan since time with no beginning, no middle and no end, but they meet and they look and think, who are you? And they don't recognize each other. So this brain, this relishment of rasa comes to the highest point and just when it comes to the climax, then they forget everything. As if nothing happened and then they become desperate to meet again. So it's very amazing. Srila Kavikana Puri said, Rasaisa ras chamatkaro yambi na na raso rasaha. Rasaisa ras chamatkaro. What is the saw? The pran, the essence of rasa? Chamatkar. Astonishment. Astonishment is the essence of rasa. Hmm? You know, if you have any experience in this world that's amazing, it's amazing. The next time it's like, okay. Hmm? <laughs> And then the time after that, it's all this again. That's boring. And then after that, you're sick of it. Eh? So, but in the spiritual world, rasa saras chamatkaro. In this rasa, everything is astonishing and becomes more and more astonishing. If there's no astonishment, then there's no rasa. So it's paki gaur kachikari ye rasa kaan kiriti. 
It is just like there's a, there's a game. You know, Radha Krishna play a game called Chaupar. Have you ever seen sometimes in Vrindavan, especially if you go to the temple of the temples of Develop Sampradaya, in front of the deities, they have so many toys and things for Krishna to play with, and they usually have a Chaupar board. Huh? It's like a the board. It's a bit like Ludo, but it's like it's a cross, and they have pieces and they have dice. Yeah, so Radha Krishna played Chaupar. So in this game, you have so many pieces and you have to throw the dice and then you move your pieces. But the other person is also throwing the dice and moving his pieces. And if he lands on your square, then you lose your man. <laughs> huh? So it's dangerous. Unless you, you have to throw the exact number so that you can land in the, in the middle in the safe house. And once you get your piece to the safe house, then it's safe. Then you have to get your other pieces there. Yeah. And the one who gets all their pieces in the safe house... And, and takes all the other person's pieces off the board, he's the winner. So, obviously the intelligent person is playing, and they're trying to, they throw the right number, and they get their piece into the safe house. So that's called Paki Goat. That, is a, that piece is Paka. It's now arrived in the safe house, it's okay, now you take care of your other pieces. But then, some crazy person, after their piece arrived in the safe house, they throw the dice again, and then they're deciding now, okay, I've got so many moves I can do. And then that piece which is in the safe house, he moves that piece out again, and now he's back in danger again. Hmm? So this is called Paki God Kachikari. The, the, the piece that was in the safe house, you don't move that anymore, but then you make it catch it again. And it's back in the game. So no one will do this. But Paki God Kachikari Rasakan Kiriti. This is the nature of the Rasiks. That they do everything, they do all their services, they meet Krishna, they serve Krishna, they please Krishna, and then the next moment everything is all undone by Mahabhav. Huh? What happened? I've never seen Krishna. Who's that boy? <laughs> so, Rasa is Saras Chamakaro. Rasa is always Chamakar, new, new, and new. So you can think that. After Pranayit, when Krishna accepted the gopis, then they met together, they began to sing and dance, Bahu, Prasara, Pararam, Vakarala, Gauru, touching, embracing all the bhavs, the Udipan, the, an, the, the Anu bhavs are coming. There is a rasa nispati, the rasa is manifesting, Cupid is manifesting, the brain is going to the highest height, then forgetting and then going higher again. And then Krishna disappears in the middle of that. I'm just giving some context for Gopi Geet. Uh -huh. You see, there's separation in Venu Geet, but the Gopis have never met Krishna directly. Now the Gopis have experienced this highest Prema Rasa with the manifestation of Cupid. And in the middle of that, where did he go? We cannot imagine. What condition they're in, at Radhika's condition, even the other gopis, they cannot imagine the separation of Radhika at that time. So then they're coming together. So you see the difference between the Vyog, the Vipralamba Rasa of Venugit and the Vipralamba Rasa of Gopi Geet. It's, it's another thing. So then gopis are crying. Jayati Teyati Kam Janmana Praja Shayati Indira Shashadha. Oh Krishna, ever since you took your birth in Braja, then Srayata Indira Shashadatahi, the goddess of fortune came to Braja and decorated everything. The meaning is that in Braja, goddess of fortune is here. She's sweeping here. And you know, if you sweep, then you have to sprinkle some water to keep the dust down. Lakshmi Devi is watering the ground with her tears and sweeping. So, what can we say, Kim Uta, what can we say about the glory of Braja and the fortune of that place and the fortune of everyone in Braja? Braja is such a place where every single person, Nanda, Yashoda, the coward boys, the cows, the birds, hmm, or everyone, every tree and creeper, they are so fortunate that all of their desires are fulfilled. And in that very place, we gopis also live there and we only have one desire, and even that one desire is not fulfilled. So how unfortunate are we? This is first verse of Gopigi. If you live in a place where everyone's broke and everyone's suffering, and you're also broke and suffering, then 
Not so bad. But if you live in a place where everyone is a millionaire, and in the middle of that, you're the only one <laughs> who's broke. <laughs> right? Then you feel it. So gopis are saying, Jayati Tayati Kam Jagbak. Oh, since Krishna appeared, it's Lakshmi Devi is decorating everything, is beautiful, everyone is happy. All their desires are filled, but we only have one desire, Krishna, that is to please you. Oh Daita. Oh my darling Krishna, oh Daita. We only want to please you, but that is not fulfilled. Daita Drishatam Dikshuta Avakas Twaitashavas Tonbichin Bate. We have been searching for you everywhere. Please show yourself to us. Hmm? That means, oh Krishna, we are so beautiful, we are so young. Hmm? You should come and see us. Because otherwise, if you don't come back and continue pastimes with us for your whole life, you'll regret it. But they don't say it directly. They say, they take it on themselves. Shadu dashai sadhu jat Sarasi Jodra Shri Mushadisha Suratanat Te Ashuka Dasika Baradanirato Nehakim Bada. They're remembering the beauty of Krishna's glance. How he was looking at them at that time. Bahu Prasada Paranamba Karala Kurvya Suilava Loka. How they were laughing together and Krishna was looking. Your eyes are so beautiful, it's as if they've stolen the beauty of the center of a fully blossomed lotus flower in a completely crystal clear autumnal lake. And now you have left us. You are Varada. Varada means you give benedictions. What was that? After Krishna returned the clothes to Braj Gopis in the Vastraharan Lila, he said, Yatha Bala Brajam Siddha Maima Rangshatakshapa. I know why you did this vow, and now your vrat is perfect. So I promise you, my aim, Arangshatakshapa, you will enjoy with me on the night of the Sharad season. And now that night came, and you are Varda, they're reminding Krishna, you are Varda, you gave this benediction, and are you a liar? And now you have left us. So we think that you can kill a person not only by a weapon, but you can kill a person by the beauty of your eyes, by glancing at us with such love and then leaving us. Do you want to kill us? How is that possible? You saved us from the poison of Kaliya. You saved us from the rain and the thunderbolts of Indra. You saved us from Agasur, Vatsasur, Brishabasur. So many demons you saved us from. Only so that today you will kill us? Krishna, you are not very consistent. <laughs> hmm? You nourished us for so many years. If a person plants a seed and wants a very good fruit tree and waters it every day and then the tree grows, he watches it grow every day and he's watering and taking care of it. And when it grows, he discovers it's a thorn tree. <laughs> then he can't, he doesn't have it in his heart to cut down that thorn tree. Why? Because he, he grew it from a seed and took care of it every day. So Krishna, what have you done? You have nourished us from our childhood. You saved us from so many demons and all these years. And just so that today you could kill us. This is not consistent. You are Vishwaskati. Vishwaskati means you have, uh, you have betrayed us. Betrayed our faith. And in Vedic culture, to do, betray faith, this is the worst, the worst thing. So, oh, look, we are running out of time. No. How will I get to Yugal Git? Okay, just a few more points because we're running out of time. Without going into the verses, we're only discussing some context, some like the, the meta. The meta-analysis. So, Srila Jiva Goswami Pad, he said that if you want to understand the Shastra, three things, sorry, six things you have to look for, six lane. Upakram upasangharav, abhyas apurvata apalam, atavaru pupatischa, lingam tatparya nirnaya. There are six, in, in a Vedic literature, when anyone manifests or writes a Vedic literature, they put six lakshanas, 
six symptoms in it whereby an expert person can identify these six things and put them together and know what is the essence of that Shastra. So the first one is called Upakram Upasandha. There must be some common point in the beginning and in the end. So what is the common point in the beginning and the end? Twai Drisha Shabas. Twai Drita means Krishna, our prana is living in you. That means your happiness is our happiness. We have no happiness for ourselves. Because our prana is living in you. And in the last line of the last verse, Yate Sujata Charnam Burham Staneshu, Bitasha Nai Priyadadi, Mahika Kesheshu, Taina Padimata Sitadya Tataina Kimswit, Kurpadi Bi Brahmati Di Bhavad Ayusham Naha. Our, our, Ayu, our life, you know, Ayu, like Ayurveda, our life, Bhavad, is yours. Hmm? Because actually, at the end of the Gopi Gita, Radhika is the last person to speak, because she's thinking, Oh Krishna, if I cannot serve you, there's no need for me to stay alive. But according to my astrological chart, I actually have so many years left, but I cannot live without serving you. So this remainder of my life, which I have left, I am just... I'm going to leave now, I'll give up my life, and what was remained over, I'm giving that to you, so you can live a long and happy life in this project. I'm donating the rest of my ayu to you. So when Sri Krishna heard this, he could not hide anymore. He was hiding and watching, but he could not tolerate anymore. And that's why that was the last verse, because he came out from his hiding place very shyly. Like holding his cloth around his neck. Uh, that is, in very culture, when you hold your cloth like this around your neck, means, uh, forgive me, I am a great offender. So then Krishna reappeared. But here, in the beginning and the end, Twai Dhritashavas, our pran is living in you. You are, all our happiness is only in you, your happiness. Abhyas, something should re be repeated again and again. So something is repeated. Kurpadi bi brahmati di. Gopis say, we quarrel with our minds thinking that you're maybe stepping on sharp grass. Comes earlier in Gopi Gita and also in the end. But there's some secret here. And that is that love should not be expressed directly. Radhika herself said, Premadvayo rasikayor ai ndipa eva. Rid Vishma Basayati Nishala Eva Bhati Dwarad Ayam Badanam Astu Bahiskritaschet Nirvati Nirvati Shigram Atavala Gutamu Paiti. The meaning is that Radhika said, Praying, love is like the flame of a lamp inside a cottage. There's a flame of a lamp burning inside a cottage, very, very steadily. So the flame of love is burning in the heart. It shines out through the windows of the eyes. If someone has love, then you can see it shining from their eyes and from their face. So Radhika said love is like this. And because of this, the person who has love never directly expresses that love. Because that is like opening the door to the cottage. If you open the door to the cottage, then the wind may blow in and cause the flame to become less or even go out. So in the same way, if someone has love, they cannot express it. The voice will become choked. And if they were to say, I love you, then the love would be diminished. Just like there was one man who was a very good cook. And he had a friend. His friend liked pakoras, shack and sweet rice. So one day this man, he got up early in the morning and he went shopping and he bought all the ingredients and he began to cook pakoras, shak and sweet rice. And by chance, his best friend who really loved those preparations came and he came in and then he, he, he was looking, hey, what did he And then he noticed, it. he's cooking all my favorite preparations. Amazing. So he said, hey, is that for me? And he was cooking. No, no. It's for me. <laughs> Not saying anything, he was silent. Not saying anything. He cooked and then he offered. 
And then very silently he came to his friend who was sitting at the table and put all his favorite preparations in them. Nice. Without saying anything. And both of them feeling such love and affection for each other. Yeah? There's no need for words. No need for words. And if you will say, you know, I got up really early this morning, I went to the supermarket, and actually <laughs> the ingredients weren't available, they had to go really far to another one. <laughs> anyway, in the end, I got them all. And I've been cooking for about three hours, and there it is. <laughs> Will the love be relished? No. So love cannot be spoken. When love is there, the service is there, and the love is a flame in the heart just shining through the eyes, and they both are relishing. So, when that man, he said to his best friend, when he asked him, Oh, is that for me? He said, No, no, it's for me. This is a dissimulation. It's for his friend, but he said, It's for me. So, this is what gopis are saying throughout the uh, gopi gids. Pranat dehinam, papakarshanam, trinacharanugam, sweni ketanam, panipanapitam, te mukam padambujam, krinukucheshuna, krindirichayam. Oh Krishna, our hearts are burning with calm, with lust. Please take that calm out of our hearts that's giving us so much pain by placing your lotus feet on our breast. It was as if they could hear Krishna saying, no, no, I can't do that, that's sinful. <laughs> Gopi said, pranata dehinam papakashanam. No, you have qualities like Lord Narayan. If someone bows down to Lord Narayan, they become free from all sins. So how is it possible that you could be touched by sin? Come at once and place your lotus feet on our hearts. Krishna said, no, no, no. Hmm? Your heart is very hard and rough, and my feet are very soft. Gopi said, What are you talking about? You're always running, running in the forest behind the cows. The cows have hooves which are very hard, and they go marching off, off the soft sandy path through the brambles, and in your bare feet, you go running after them. So, how can you say, Come and come back at once? Chris hmm? said, No, no, I should not do it. Gopi said, no, Srini Ketanam, your lotus feet should be placed on our heart because your lotus feet are Srini Ketanam, so beautiful. And the bottom of your lotus feet is reddish. And the top of your lotus feet is a dark, sham color. And your toenails, they're like uh, drops of chanda and sandalwood paste. So our breasts, breast gopis, they smear reddish kumkum on the top, black kasturi underneath, and the dots of chan chandan in the middle, like this. So just as your feet are reddish and blackish, and, and like moons of chandan, so our breast is also reddish and blackish with moons of chandan also. So it said, Yase satsang di pungsa manifatsya satat guna is kula diyat to dima sayuta neva sangsrayat. You should always associate with those persons who are like you. So your lotus feet are shrini ketanam, and our hearts are shrini ketanam, so they should have sadhu sangha. <laughs> they should associate together. They could hear Krishna telling, no, 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 I'm afraid because your lust, your calm is so burning, that your body may be so hot, my feet may become burnt. Gopi said, no, panapitanapitam, teimokam, padambujam. Kaliya had fire coming out from his mouth. And burning poison, and you kept your feet on his head. So this is no excuse. Please come at once. <laughs> they heard Krishna say, "But your husbands will make a problem for me." He said, "No, pani panapitam. No, if your husband make a problem, you can chastise a husband, just like you chastised Kali. So krindu kucheshuna krindirishtayam. Come and remove this calm from our hearts. So actually, gopis are not thinking about themselves at all. They have no desire for their own happiness at all. But they're saying, it's for me. Krishna, come back for me. Exactly in the same way as that person. Oh, is, is those preparations for me? No, no. It's not for you. It's for me. Ah. Understand? So the verses of Gopi Gita are like this. Full of brain. And when the Gopi is asking for themselves, actually everything is for Krishna. It's for his happiness, not for their own happiness. 
Otherwise, it will be Rasabasa and the praying will go down. Nirvati Shigram Atava Lagutam Mupaiti. Praying can go out or go down. So then, in the very end of Gopi Geet, Radhika says, Yate Sujata Charnam Buddhaham Staneshu. Hey Krishna, when we hold our your lotus feet on our hearts, at that time we place them there very, very slowly. Because we're worried that you may feel some discomfort. Because our heart is so hard and your feet are so soft like lotus petals. Hmm? So here gopis are revealing that in their meeting, in their union with Krishna, they're not thinking about their own happiness at all. They're only thinking of his happiness. So it will be Rasabhas. Hmm? Will it? So there's some special circumstance. You see? When the, when the flame is burning steadily in the cottage, then you have to keep the doors and windows closed, otherwise it will flicker and it can become less. But what will happen if the, if the candle flips over and then there's a fire and the curtains are on fire and the couch is on fire, everything is on fire, then what should you do? Then you have to open all the windows, open the doors. You cannot live, you cannot breathe. You have to open everything. And will the fire go out if you open the door? No. So that means, so the implication is, the fact that throughout Gopi Geet, all Gopis are hiding and they're dissimulating what they want to say. But in the last verse, Radhika is openly expressing, saying what should not be said about love. That but, the love is not going down. Why? It means that the fire in our heart has come to the highest point where it's desperate. It's a desperate moment. She has to open the window and express it. So that is the climax of Gopi Geet. Krishna cannot hold himself. He must run there at once. Ta sama vira bhutshori smaya mana bhukambada pitam barasarvi sakshan man mataman mata and Brad Gopi is inviting to take an asana on their cloths and sit down. Please come to the witness stand. <laughs> now we're going to have a trial. <laughs> And so then Krishna's trial took place. And Krishna, he, he confessed everything. With tears in his eyes. I cannot repay you. So this is Gopi Geet. Now, the next Geet after Gopi Geet is Yuga Geet. Now, it may sound a surprise, but of the these four Geets so far, the prouder praying, the most mature praying is in Yugal Geet. That's the most mature praying. More than Venu Geet, more than Pranay Geet, more than Gopi Geet. In Yugal Geet. How is it so? Oh, there's some context. But we have run out of time. So, I invite everyone, please come to Navadhi Purkrama. And then Vrindavan retreat, <laughs> and we'll explain you will be in Vrindavan. Oh, come to North Carolina, yes, come to North Carolina. If you come there, we may tell it there instead. So, that next this weekend, this coming week, week we'll, we're having a festival in Eugene, and then the next week, the New Year's festival we'll have in um, no. New Year's will be in Eugene, and then the next week will be in New York, and then we'll be just very close by, near, just near Alachi, just down the road, North Carolina. <laughs> We're very close by. And it's a residential festival, it's not an evening program. Everyone living together in a big manor house in the forest, with the Mangalati chanting Japa together, morning class and evening class, a whole day, intense immersion, like on Brett and Parikrama. So we're inviting everyone, please, Come to the festival in North Carolina. The subject in um, in the Eugene will be the glories of the Holy Name, Nam Amrita. The subject in New York will be Gora Lila Amrita, Gora's pastimes. And the subjects of um, North Carolina will be Brindavan Amrita, the nectar of Brindavan Lila. 
Sagurudev ki jai Vrindavan Bihari Lal ki jai Jai Saniwal ki jai Jai Sri